Well, good morning, church. It is so good to be with you today. Welcome to St. John's United Church of Christ. This morning, you are joining me in my office, or I am joining you from my office, however you want to think about that. Always when we gather, in whatever form that may take, we welcome each other. So welcome. No matter who you are, or where you are on life's journey, you are welcome here. That's something we not only say, that's something we seek and strive to fully embody and live out. They are not just words, they are how we live. So you are joining me in my office this morning because today is Vacation Bible School Sunday. And our full worship service will be held in Fellowship Hall this morning. Unfortunately, we do not have live streaming equipment in that particular part of the building. So I'm unable to share with you all of the delights that will be part of that service, all of the learning and sharing, all the songs, all the pictures from VBS. But it is important to me and important to our church that we include you our online worshiping community, people who join us every week from home, whether it is here locally in Chambersburg or from states away, it is always good to have you with us. So this morning, I share with you a smaller, more abbreviated part of our worship service. And I hope that you know just how important you are to this family of God. So let us be in a spirit of worship. Let, our, let us quiet our minds and prepare our hearts to spend some time with God. you join me in this morning's call to worship. The God of new beginnings has called us to this place. We come celebrating the new life that is ours as God's faithful people. Let your joy ring through the universe and let your vision see to the depths of every soul. We will be shouters of joy 
and seekers of God's light wherever we go. Praise God for this day. Join me in this morning's prayer of the day. God of grace, who are we that you should care for us? Yet you surprise us with grace, infuse us with hope, and teach us a better way. Make us ever more faithful and ever more grateful as we watch for the coming of your son, Jesus, in whose name we pray. Amen. And will you join me in the prayer for illumination? Holy God, by your spirit, enlighten us, illumine us, inspire us, not for our sakes, but for the sake of Jesus Christ, in whom we live. Amen. I had almost forgotten how exhilarating and exhausting a week of vacation Bible school can be. The last time I was able to participate in the week-long experience was my first year as the pastor of St. John's in, in 2018. In 2019, my orientation for the Next Generation Leadership Program, or NGLI, that I am part of was held in Cleveland the same week. I'm not Hermione Granger. I don't have a time turner that allows me somehow to be in two places at once. We made the decision in 2020 to not hold a VBS program for the safety and well being of our volunteers and those who would attend. And last summer, 
2021, we held a one-day VBS program outside, which went really quite well. This week has been a joy to be part of, to share in the faith journey of children and young people and adults alike, to listen to their insights and hear the good questions they ask. Writer and advocate Kevin M. Nye recently wrote, in the Gospels, Jesus is asked 187 questions. He answers maybe eight of them. He himself asks 307. Maybe faith isn't about certainty, but learning to ask and sit in the complexity of Good questions. Each night, the kids gathered in reflection groups to ask and answer some questions about what they were learning, how they were growing, and the impact they can make in the world. I think this is a skill necessary for all of us to develop, to keep our hearts and minds open and flexible to the movement of the Holy Spirit, and how the divine shows up in the faces of our friends, neighbors, strangers, and even those people we might consider our enemies. What are you learning? How are you growing? Where might you make a difference being the hands and feet of Jesus in the world? Sometimes competition can be a good thing as it was when we collected money each evening for the local refugee resettlement program, helping families from across the world who are now calling Chambersburg home. We weighed the monies that were collected, encouraging the kids, and honestly the adults, to donate and make a difference. And their enthusiasm was contagious. As people of faith, we know the importance of giving of our time, talent, and treasure. This week has involved all three. And thankfully, those gifts do not end with this week or today. Our gifts are multiplied and extended in our daily lives, our relationships, work, school, and home. God invites us to give of ourselves generously being strong in the Lord and in the strength of his power, to stand with the belt of truth around you, your waist, justice as your breastplate, and shoes on your feet so that you are ready to spread the good news of peace, carrying the shield of faith and taking the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is God's word. Our scriptures this week emphasize truth, justice, peace, faith, and salvation. I had a great time helping to dramatize the stories from Daniel, 1 Samuel, Luke, and Acts. We are reminded to speak truth, just as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego did, staying faithful in our devotion to God, not falling away or yielding to the temptation to worship idols. We are to seek justice, for it is not about what we stand against, but what we stand for, and who we stand alongside, just as David did. The poor, the oppressed, the weak, and the marginalized. We are to spread the good news of peace, proclaiming an alternative to violence, war, and hatred, just as God promised by sending us Jesus and asking us to learn from him and follow him. We are to be strong in our faith, not allowing our fears and doubts to limit us or hold us back from serving God in every time and place, as Peter learned when he walked on water. And we are to share the good news of salvation, even when it puts us at risk and in harm's way, at odds with those who put profits and power over people, as Paul and Silas did. Being a Christian is to be a follower of Jesus, 
not just believing in him, but trusting in him and living out our love of God and neighbor in our deeds, our actions, as well as our words. This is what Jesus teaches us to do, what our sacred scriptures tell us over and over to do. Faith is lived out in how we behave, in the ways we treat others, and how well we love those whom God loves. And God loves the whole world. Love is indeed the strongest force on earth. Love is the way that Jesus taught us. Love is what will see us through, no matter what challenging circumstances or situations we may face. As Paul tells us in 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 11, encourage each other and build each other up. We do better when we do life together. It helps to have a community to support us, to cheer us on and cheer us up. Joys shared are joys increased, and burdens shared are burdens lessened. We will never regret being kind. Always be kind. The writer of 1 John reminds us in 4.19 that we love because God first loved us. The love of God is what strengthens us. And we can be confident in that love, which has no end. God's love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. May the time that we share together encourage us. May the questions we ask enlighten us. May the stories we tell inspire us. And may people know that we are Christians by our love. May we indeed take our worship and witness back out into the world, loving and learning, giving and growing, welcoming and serving, and bringing forth the kingdom of God. Amen. Us be together in a spirit of prayer. Holy and living God, we give you thanks for this day and the life that we have in it. And we know that we can always come to you with our joys and our celebrations, the things that make us shout rejoice and hallelujah and amen and the things that are hard and heavy, that weigh heavily on us, the things that 
cause us to lament, to ask why and where are you? We do indeed, God, give you thanks and praise. And we ask you for help. We turn to you in our need. And we trust that you are indeed at work in our world and in our lives. And prayer changes things, O oh God. For prayer changes us. And then we change things. Help us always to rely on the strength of your love and your spirit, to be guided by grace and wisdom and filled with courage and peace. Let our faith in you guide us this day. And may we stand for justice Trust in your mercy and live out your peace. All this and so much more we ask in Jesus' name, praying the prayer that he taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Continue your journey walking in love. Care for one another. Care for the earth. Seek justice and make peace. God goes before you. Live boldly. Celebrate.
and sing. Thank you. 